And we're back. We didn't talk to anyone in the town, so we end up needing to talk to them. Oh. Quick side note, just because I need to share this information. So, there was a uh, co-worker that I was working with today at work. And uh, we had all gone, because he was visiting from out of state, we all went to a lunch for the department. Just to be all like, yay, he's here, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. Um... I was working on a project with him, and he, uh, quietly burped. He did one of those silent, like, gassy burps when he was standing next to me. And he never moved away. And I could smell and almost taste his lunch. Anyways. <clears throat> if you ever do that, please take a step back. But you gotta admit, 100 was a big streak. What are you talking about, Cherubat? <laughs> So, not gonna lie, some of the information that was given to us in the last game, I'm, I, I kind of, like, glossed over, my brain went blank, and my eyes sort of glazed over, because I didn't quite remember everyone it was talking about. Aspia and Espinia are the capital and the capital city of the Republic. Don't ask me which is which. I would have to look it up again. I think Espinia is the name of the, of the, Repu of the Republic's country, and I believe Aspia is the name of the city. The city is also the one that you end the first scenario on where we were fighting the Titan in the moat before the castle. The Empire and Saraban formed an alliance but didn't consider those in Eastern lands. Initially, the rebels pursued their ideals peacefully, but land became a priority and the War of Independence was born. I don't even remember what sit town we're in. Oh, shoot. I skipped over that. That's fine. Recently, battles have been breaking out across the Republic, and it seems to be spreading. The Republic's original goal was peace, but we could be seeing the beginning of its collapse. It's not wrong. But it's also because the Republic's kind of, like, a pretty glove. Critical plus five, counter plus five, special attack. I'm a little... Oh, you know what? If special attack is probably a chance to charm the enemy. And it ups her agility. I'm upset because that means we no longer need this other glove of hers. However, the spark glove should sell for the, about the same amount that we bought it for. If you don't remember or you weren't here, it was... Uh, the spark glove got made with a large piece of mithril. Oh, did you not see the other message? No, it didn't go through. Giving up completely on the streak thing, you don't care anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Isaac, lo Isaac doesn't want to get rid of it because he said that it's a nice little add-in bonus and he wants to keep it. He had a theory on why it doesn't work. Oink, oink. And I don't remember the entire theory. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Why, why are the pigs following me? Can I get them to, like, come back inside with me? That was the original message for the five streak. Oh, well, yeah, the five streak didn't even show up. I think he said it had... He's going to post it, but I think he said it had something... He thinks it has something to do with coming into the stream from a raid doesn't count. Is that it? What am I supposed to do with these? Arrow Village is in Central Headland, but it's still the closest village to Swampland. Between the two regions lies a mountain range, so we must traverse a cave. We aren't able to come and go easily. Oh, yeah, the cave, I think, is the next one. Oh, we're in the town that Garrosh's family was from after we killed his brother. Or if you're watching another channel during it may also not count. That's possible. You're planning to escort Emperor Demark to Aspia, aren't you? Don't want to, but sure. As Emperor Demark nears Aspia, the opportunity opposition will get stronger. You should return to Destonia. Yeah, so Destonia is the... I don't remember if it's the city name, but it's basically the center portion of the Empire. 
The Aspinian people reject the Emperor. It's too powerful to ignore. Are you not even aware of it? Uh... This... <laughs> Cherubeth just is all like, I'm not doing any of the stuff Isaac said. <laughs> Debunked. Aww. I, I almost thought he had something going for it. I don't know. I'd be curious to know why the heck it doesn't work all the time. I'm wondering if it's intended and if, if it's intended, what the heck it's intended for. That small mithril. I should use that. I, I mean, I can't use it here, but. You're Prince Toyker of the Empire. And that's Emperor Damaric, huh? Seriously. If you're going to lie, you should come up with something better than that. <laughs> why is the Emperor just sitting in a tavern? After that last battle, the Emperor's confidence in you has grown sharply. After all of this is over, I'm sure the Emperor will have many stories to tell your mother, Lady Melinda. I mean, the, the lowborn woman. <laughs> this tavern isn't bad, but to arrive in Aspie as soon as possible, we must hurry our preparation, Toyker. Your performance in that last battle was stunning. Chuckle. It seems I've been underestimating you. I wonder if that dialogue can change depending on what you do. Is that... Could that be Emperor Demaric? This is so unexpected. I'm shocked such a legendary leader would come to my tavern. It's a great privilege. He's even more impressive than the rumors. Uh, You're definitely watching two channels, but it still counts it. You might have to deal with Google Chrome or BTTV. It might have to deal with BTTV. Because it's not an authorized... It's it's not authorized by Twitch, is it? Like, Twitch doesn't go, oh yeah, we totally authorize this. It's like a third-party add-on for um, the browsers that everyone likes. Hell, I like it. I already talked to her. Yeah, yeah, go away. But I don't understand why it would be BTTV. Oh my god. I don't know. I heard Garrosh, who went off to live in Saraband a while back, is now in Toyger Army. I bet he's become a prominent member in your army, eh? He's, he's barely just joined. Garrosh's childhood friendships were a little strange. His best friend was a pigeon that he cherished. I heard he used to keep in, he used it to keep in contact with his parents. Pigeon? Headland Province is poor, but there are tales of an ancient treasure hidden in the cave between here and Swampland. Oh, no. There might be a thing. Headland proje projects from the southern... Headland projects from the southern edge of Espinia. The northern mountain range surrounds Swampland. Over the mountains to the west is Beresol. These three regions maintain good communication. Beresol is the religious city that we dealt with early on, I think? that or it's 7TV. When 7TV breaks, it constantly clears your chat. I don't even know what 7TV is. You know how you can find out? Ask, um... Ask Retro which ones he uses. Toyger inspects the bookcase. Art of Disguise. Buy this book and learn to master, be a master of disguise in just three days. Whatever appearance you choose, get reading today and discover the secret. What? So weird. Ah, shoot. I didn't want to go out. <laughs> yeah, nothing found. Okay. I was checking to see if you could go through any of the walls there. Quaker inspects the box and finds the large mithril. Really weird. Why is this empty? Oh, is this gonna be a town we come back to on occasion? Oh, it's like ring the bell. I received a directive instructing me not to sell weapons to the Toyger army. I responded with a joke and got into a little trouble. Chuckle. I'd sell to anyone if it would get me out of poverty. <clears throat> He's poor. It's call me. That's what it says. Call me. Press the button. <clears throat> so weird. <clears throat> I 
He, he runs back into the back room, puts on a dress and a wig. Or, or, or he takes off a bald cap. <clears throat> you need supplies for a long journey. You've come to the right place. Thank you for looking. I'm sure these items will meet with your approval. Deals. Are you looking for something special? Take as long as you like. This is all stuff I got rid of, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and then see what she says. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe be, uh, watching a mobile has something to do with it? I don't know. I heard the Emperor visit our little town's humble tavern. I wonder what such a great person would order. I doubt there's anything suitable for him there. I do like this bell thing. It's just, it's such a stupid, silly little joke. Gosh, child. <clears throat> yeah, we already heard that. To safely travel to the capital city, you should navigate north along Headland's eastern coast. It takes much longer using the coast, but the caves are very dangerous. Is this the church? I think this is the church. Come on. I should look at the... We plan to ambush the Imperial Army in the cave on their way to Swampland. What? If the Headland and Swampland armies unite and flank them, Emperor Demark's run of luck will be over along with his life. <clears throat> the Republic has been in a miserable state since the War of Independence. Now the Empire is invading. I wonder who will protect us. So is it true the Emperor still does not recognize the independence of the Republic? Yeah. <clears throat> I see. It seems the Emperor has felt that way all along. He sees everything as his own. That's why Lord Daka of Headland and Lord Sios of Swampland rebelled against the Imperial family. My god, am I going to have to deal with two more people? You don't think you'll be allowed to pass through the cave uncontested, do you? <clears throat> Daka, Headland's Lord, and Sios, Swampland's Lord, were once Imperial royalty. However, they revolted during the War of Independence. They hated the Emperor and wanted him defeated, no matter the cost. What are their names? Uh, Daka and Lord Cirrus. They still feel nostalgia for the Empire's arist aristocratic society. If Emperor Demaric's rule were to end, they would immediately try to reinstate the old system. Can't believe Emperor Demar Demaric, a man so hated by the em people of the Republic, would come to our village. He's leaving soon, right? <clears throat> Just angry, angry, angry. Even if Aspia provides us with goods, that doesn't mean they're distributed to the people. Equality, you won't find it here. <clears throat> with its decentralized government, Aspinia acts as many small nations. Headland is within the Republic. But we are affected by Imperial power, so nothing has improved. How we envy Flagard and Mallory. <clears throat> as someone born into the aristocracy, Headland's lord is not satisfied with living in poverty. For Headland to prosper, we must trade with Saraband. He hoped everyone would agree. Is that a desk? Toyger inspects the bookcase. History of Headland. The Republic-controlled Headland territory... The Republic-controlled Headland territory was won in the War of Independence against the Empire. Daka, a relative of the Emperor, was appointed Lord of this province. That's interesting. <clears throat> So he's family. Trigger inspects the shelf. Whoa! It's moldy inside. God damn it. Governing Headland by Lord Daka. While the Republic was founded on a philosophy of equality, I support the Imperial system, a regime with a powerful ruling class. Okay. Trigger inspects the shelf. Ugh! It smells strange. You want to tell that to the old lady? 
Spiker finds the large mithril. People just have large chunks of mithril lying around. Even if Aspia provides us with goods, that doesn't mean they're distributed to the people. Quality, you won't find it here. I already listened to her. I don't know why I listened to her again. Because I forgot who I talked to, that's why. It's shut tight. Due to the unnatural weather this year, there was no harvest, yet we received no help from Aspia. They didn't even ease the annual collection they take from us. It's because Aspia is starving. Because, and I don't understand that. How is the Republic so hard up on just <clears throat> everything? They're all like, we, we cease production. It's because the trade that probably happened when they were part of the Empire just got shut down. And suddenly they were having to be more independent, more on their own. They had never done it before, thought they could do it, and they've been struggling since. So I guess that makes sense. So you haven't seen any bright colored flowers around here, have you? I'd really like to have some flowers. Can I give her cut flowers? We went out of my way. <clears throat> I'd have to buy them back. I don't think I have them here. Take them. No, no, I do. Give. Deposit. That. Ugh, why do you have medical herb? Keep it. I, I can make use of it. Deposit that. My god. Fucking hell, Zero. I forgot. I, I forgot Zero had all this crap. <laughs> David saw the cursed ring. Destined to use it one day. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> Items. Give. I'm gonna leave this area because it drives me nuts listening to this music sometimes. <clears throat> it's just loud and abrasive in your ear. Compared to, like, this one. Alright. So... Anyone with two. Give one to zero. have some flowers. How about item use? Wow! These are beautiful flowers. Are you giving them to me? Yes. Then in exchange for these powers, uh, flowers, I shall present you with this old map. These flowers, given to me by the prince. I'll give it the best of care and I'll try to fill this place with lots and lots of flowers. So there's one more thing of cut flowers. Crying loudly, Big Brother Jadis, I thought the Headland Army was strong. How can they lose to the Toyker Army? <laughs> that was the boss of the last fight we fought, and we killed him. Garrosh was in a terrible battle in Saraband. Without the aid of Bodhi of Lagard, he would have lost his life next to his brother. He wasn't able to return the favor, but I'm certain Garrosh will avenge his brother. Will he? He, he helped kill him. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, how horrible does that seem? All, they're all like, I hope he will get revenge for his brother. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> What's with the windmill? What do I do with the piggies? Maldison died during a battle with the Bodhi army. My two remaining sons were divided by their beliefs. They ended up in a battle against one another. Now Garrosh is the only son I have left. Maybe you should have taught them just not to do that. Daddy went to fight the Toyger army. No, don't worry. He's the strongest in the Headland army. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, he had a daughter. See, he looked 12 in his portrait. I had three promising sons. I've lost two of them to this war. Garrosh, my middle son, is the only one left now. The first son was killed off by the Bulzo monks in, like, the very beginning of the first game. Garrosh we recruited, and then Garrosh helped kill his brother. Tiger inspects the shelf, it's shut tight, and we were all like, we don't have to fight your brother, and he's like, no, you don't understand, we're on opposing sides, we had determined that we would do our best if we ever had to see each other in battle. And we're like, you, you could have just not. Tiger finds 900 golds, I'm glad I took money from the grieving family. <laughs> Like, there are some things old games do that are really hysterical, and I don't know if it's intentional at all for that. Toyger inspects the bookcase. A diary entry written by Garish's mother. Saraband is docked in Headland. Could the Saraband guard threaten Headland? If by some chance my boys had to battle one another, I would be devastated. <laughs> yeah. Garish is in the Imperial Army and tried to buy Jade some time to escape their battle, but it was not to be. Jade realized. But desertion is just such a serious crime, they will even punish your family. You know, we could have just taken him captive. But, yeah, we didn't. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. It seems to like you. Oink. Oink, oink, oink. Wait. Am I supposed to collect them in a certain order? Because it looks like there's an oink and an oink, oink. Middle one first. So the one that's... Ugh, right there. Oink, oink. Damn it. Oink, he seems to like you. Oink, he seems to like you. You're wise, Prince Toyger. If you travel with Emperor Damarak, your trip won't be easy. There has to be something to do with the piggins. Really late? Tiger receives the large egg. Tiger's hands are full, so he gives the Campbell the egg. This is Penn's alter ego, the uh, girl one. Ah. Uh. Alright, chicken. Item, use. Campbell uses the large egg. Chicken warms the egg. Three, two, one. Brock! Penko the penguin joins the force. Queen, queen, you're super lucky to have someone as cute as me for a companion, is what she appears to be enthusiastically saying. Looks like it doesn't matter what you say, she's going anyway. Penko Beak. Level 1. Eight him.
Why are you part of the army? How did you manage to make it in here? Critical, plus five, counter, plus five. My god. Who's, who's not in the party right now? I mean, other than David. <laughs> Zero. I'm sorry, wait. I want zero in the party so bad. Do I get rid of Waltz? Waltz has actually been... Okay, Waltz's attack is 61. Which is better than Robbie. But Robbie's defense is 39. Uh, Robbie's slow. 62. Garrosh has an attack of 62. Arthur would be better, honestly, if he had different level spells. But he's at least kind of up there. But he's long range. Garrus is long range. Robbie's long range. Waltz is long range. And Hazuki is long range. And Zero's just in need of leveling. Our selection is unique and crafted by first-class artisans. Take your time. Do you have any deals? I know you have people of breeding. Breeding, eh? <laughs> Blaze level 3 wand. The anger wand. It's better than Hedva's current wand, and Hedva's wand only casts sleep. So giving her up to level 3 blaze is probably amazing. Your old magic wand is worth 675. Yeah, she's been using that for a while. I'm sorry, golem level 2 earthrod? I think I had Golem level 2. Mm -mm. Is there anything else? Sell. Okay. Six thousand seven hundred fifty. Yeah, we're getting rid of it. Wow, this is a hemp. I'm really sad because I use... I mean, I, I shouldn't be sad. I have so much mithril. Like, if I really wanted to try again, I could. Is there anything else? Bye. Uh, Bastard Sword. There's, like, no way Toyger's gonna find a better sword off of a shop. I don't think much of my characters are gonna be able to equip better weapons off a shop anymore. Battle Spear. Yeah, see, it's slightly weaker. But his current spear actually allows him to uh, heal, I think it was. Where's Rock? Yeah, that's worse. But most of the weapons are comparable. They're very similar. King Arrow. Holy crap. No, hell no. Heavy Quarrel. Mm -mm. Buster Shot? 
I don't think it's gonna be better. I think Robbie got a mithril. Yeah, he's got 56. He's got the meteor thing. The shuriken called Shaken. Okay, a wing with a counter plus five, but it's a battle wing, and I kind of want it for zero, but at the same time, zero's not in my fight. Robbie can use a power anchor? I probably should have just given Robbie the, that. Like, how much better is this for zero? Can I even see for him? For 49 increases his defense. The thing is, zero was better, technically, when I gave him a sword. Can't use that. That's a... So he can't use a steel blade. Or a blade, I should say. Uh, I think he can use a sword. Yeah, see? His defense goes down. Actually, the wing is better, but I don't... I, I'm not using him. I'm really tempted to use Zero and get rid of Arthur. I think I'm going to. Yeah, no, keep Arthur. I have a feeling we'll have an option to uh, train characters again. Um, we need to save you. What was all this stuff about Garrosh's past? Am I supposed to find a pigeon somewhere? You have come, save. Yes. We've spent 30 minutes in this town. A little over 30 minutes. I almost said no, I don't want to continue. <laughs> This is what happens. Like, the towns can take quite a bit of time, especially with them, like, hiding stuff. Those aren't pigeons. Those are, like, chickens or ducks. Those are ducks. What the fuck are those? Garrosh was in terrible battle in Saraband without the aid of boat. Okay, shut up. I hope he'll avenge his brother. He's not. Okay. Let's leave. Time to leave. Is he gonna give me the option to move? No. Cutscene. You're gonna be all like, no, we must leave the cave. What is with your mouth? <laughs> he looks normal now. Wait until he talks again. Such a long awaited meeting, Tiger Army. I am Sias of Swampland. He looks like that cat that goes ma 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 ma. <laughs> Sayos. He's not simply from Swampland. He's the Lord of Swampland. There he is. <laughs> How shall you threaten the peace agreement between Governor Garvin of Saravan, Lord Darker of Headland, and myself? You even went so far as to free the Emperor after we went to such great lengths to arrange his capture. You foolish boy. Aren't they all part of the Republic? Yeah, so the Republic's totally a fucking mess. Thanks to all of you, my entire plan has collapsed. Now the only thing left is for you to make amends with your deaths. You haven't changed at all, Sayus. I'll never forget that voice, Emperor. Demaric. <laughs> I haven't forgotten your betrayal during Conrad's rebellion 20 years ago, when you and Daka joined his forces. You're the one to talk of betrayal. You were born into nobility with a duty to serve the people, yet you deprive them. I can't wait for my new kingdom. Wow. Ha! You crave authority that badly. Power-hungry lords like you and Daka, it would be best if you were dead. Is that Daka? Oh my god, what is that? I love their designs because they're so uniquely, they're so unique compared to the other designs we've been seeing. And at the same time, they are the most extreme cartoonish versions that you can get compared to what we've been seeing. So you knew about our cooperation with Conrad, but... We do not ally with Conrad seeking independence for the Republic. 
It was you. We joined Conrad in the War of Independence to oppose you. Oh. Republic was successful in the war and we were finally able to strike a blow against you. However, we paid a price as well. From our aristocratic lifestyle in glamorous Estonia to a simple life in this tiny territory. For 20 years we've paid this price. Wah. Well, Republic's only been around 20 years. Fucking gal. Wasn't this your choice, Daka? It was your decision to turn against the Empire. No, Demarak. It was you we turned against, not the Empire. If we had been able to remove you, we likely would have been able to return. Sios and I have decided, Demarak, we will kill you and return to the service of the service of Estonia. You die here. I'm like, whatever happened to good old fashioned like regicide? You could have done that. But instead, you decide to side with an entire group of people to up and leave the country and create your own, like, nation. And it didn't go well in the end. <laughs> Do you see that formation, Toyga? Their armies will attack you on two fronts. Yeah, we don't want this. Using a scissor strategy, this battle will be- Oh. Oh my. Scissors. As expected for Deborah Damarek, he can predict enemy actions based on their formation, terrain, and situation. Just like the old days, seems like his ability as a strategist is as strong as ever. The enemies coming from the rear will certainly be aiming for Emperor Damarek. Prince, keep the armies of Lord Daka and Lord Sayus away from the Emperor. If he is their target, we must protect him. So, if Damarek goes down, end of battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that in the last one. Wasn't I thinking of putting Zero in and getting rid of Arthur, and then I just got completely sidetracked? Oops. Fucking hell, this battlefield! Zero would make our lives so much easier. Let's let, let, let's take a look and do some killing first, and then we're gonna egress out and we're gonna get zero. I, I don't think we're gonna do well here as it is. Ah, uh, Hedva can't hit anyone. Damn it. Put Campbell there. He's probably gonna get it targeted. Yes. Definitely. Sweet! I love Hazuki. Probably useless, but whatever. I might as well give it a little bit of defensive bonuses to my mages. Got since she got five experience for that. Like whoop de doo. Oh god, Waltz, you have such a good range and why why are you in such a crappy area to do anything? Same with Uryudo, technically. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> I notice that all the enemies are moving almost immediately after I move, so you have to be really careful on your placement because they're all just gonna come at once. So how is Rock, like, moving last? Ah, uh, there's nowhere to put Garrosh. Alright. Might try and do this without Zero. What? Why are you moving forward? You are their target, you dumbass. I might try and do this without having to get zero. If it gets really bad, we'll leave and I'll swap out Arthur for zero. 
Our Zero's not gonna do a ton of damage, especially immediately. He needs to level. He's level four. Meanwhile, David's level nine and barely ready to level get hit level ten so he can get into like his real promotion. <laughs> David the forlorn. David the forgotten. David the lost. David the you used to have a girlfriend until she realized how whiny you were. <laughs> David, your head looks like an anime sheep. <laughs> do it. Just fucking do it. Should have given this to Synthesis, though. Hedva's better against um, single targets. Synthesis, can you get in there? I don't know if she's good enough to be able to reach any of them. She can! With Spark. Listen to her anger. Oh god, it's so much damage that's unnecessary. Partners with Hedva and just made 2,000 gold for the army. <laughs> Holy shit, Zadizus. Um. I don't like this setup at all. So they have to fall down. There's no going up, but you can go up here and here and climb up and around. You could also go here. And Wait a minute. Shit. That is. Border map. Swampland cave. Oh. That door we have to get to. Okay. Before I forget, I'm saving in case we fuck up. I accidentally said I don't want to continue the adventure. Because I have problems with that, apparently. God damn it. Do I really need what's in there? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. I might need it. We're like in the second to last chapter of this game. And this may be the very last battle for this chapter. If it's not, it's definitely close to it. But this one, like the last one, I did look it up. They both have six chapters. I don't know about the third one. My guess is it's going to have six chapters as well, as well. I feel like six chapters and the number of battles in each one is more than enough for what it needs. Alright. Campbell, your turn. Uh, do I want to put you down right now? Yes, I do. Azuki, destroy this tank. Get rid of it. Thank you. I, I, I completely forgot she got shot by the stupid thing. Uh. Only 10 hit points, but whatever. This is how Uryudo makes his uh, money. <laughs> Arthur, I'm so glad it's your turn. Oh, he can go. He can go all the way up here. Sweet. Robbie can't go anywhere because Arthur took the spot. My fucking god. 
<laughs> so we're all just stuck trying to go in through there. We also need to be careful because <clears throat> that priest is going to try and target Demaric. Hill Giant? I'm sorry, what? They also did say, like, enemies from the rear, so I'm worried that we're gonna have, like, reinforcements coming from the cave entrance. Uh, Daka? I'm sorry, you just hit rock? And you think that the, as oh oh you made mistakes oh you poor man oh you made mistakes because <clears throat> headbuzz here oh my god and rock is gonna kick your nards. <laughs> Oh, it's Sintesis' turn. You poor, poor fool of a man. Is there anything here? Hold on. Okay. Here's the thing. Toyger can't go very far. Rock took only 19 damage. And he got it back. <laughs> Campbell, where am I going to send you? Campbell's always gone into those with me, so... I'm worried about triggering it, that's my thing. Save, do overwrite, yes. Continue, okay. Ah, uh, and I don't have anyone close enough to- wait, maybe? Waltz can you- <gasps> Waltz can do it! You deserve it. Right, for a second, I was gonna be like, does she have a shotgun now? He dropped the revenge mace. Ugh, I've been defeated. If I had defeated Tamarik, I could have made amends for those 20 lost years. Is it my time to die? Sayos, take my revenge. My revenge. Ugh. Waltz receives a revenge mace. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Robbie. My my biggest worry is Demarek being an idiot with his uh Yep, yep, oh, okay. I was waiting for that. Is he just attacking? Dumbass. What did you think you were gonna get out of that? Demarek, no! <laughs> The fuck? The Emperor deals how much damage? Why was he hiding? <laughs> like. The fucking hill giant there. Look at all these guards, these unnecessary guards. Thirty-eight damage from Rock. Barely tried. Oh, Rock is level ten. 
here? Should I just wait for everyone to get down here? <sighs> here. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do once again. I'm gonna try and move closer to the door. Okay, that works fine. I think anyone can open the door. Can I get you? No. Mizuki, hit it. Attack the hill giant. 70 hit points of this thing. 13. Uh... Arthur doesn't move especially fast. attack. Yeah. 18. He's not super great, but I'm trying to figure out who best to put into place for that. Yeah, give it to Robbie. Robbie's level 7. Uh, and he didn't level. Got an antidote or a whoopee. Did DeMarc just not move? Oh shit. Well, I kind of expected this to happen. It only did three damage to Synthesis. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, I was worried about uh, why? Oh no! <gasps> oh shit! Please do not stack up around him! Ah, oh, fucking hell. I mean, I can use a level 2 heal, but dear god. Here, do it. Take him out. Take him out. One hit point left. That's fine. Actually, no, it's not fine because Waltz is not in a good enough area to, like, deal that damage. Ow, oh, Sintesis took 5 damage. Why? You guys go. We're like, both of my mages are running low on uh, MP. Eight? Eight. Fuck it. Tisa's needs more experience anyways. <clears throat> there we go. Level 9. She got one whole MP, MP. One whole magic point. Congratulations, Sintisa. I'm sure you'll make use of it somehow. <clears throat> Alright. We're doing this. Save. 
overwrite to the uh, inspect it. Pregrin peeks inside the ruins. <laughs> the treasure will be mine, of course. There's always thieves who have overly wrapped their heads. Those bandits intend to steal the treasure from those ruins. Prince Traeger, if we have the troops to spare, we should stop them. Because we need it instead. <clears throat> we very much have troops to spare. Shit. She's level 8, with one whole extra m magic point. I'm so glad. God damn it, right here. Yeah, just kill him. Go, Waltz! Do not miss! Became friends with the Rock. And is now level 9. Ooh, attack and defense by two. If only the magic users learned what ma two magic points were. Dumbasses. <laughs> no, you're you're worthless down there. No way in hell. No, don't kill him! That was my experience. Little bitch. What? Okay. <laughs> I need to see what this map looks like. Ugh. I wonder if there's something next to that rock. Should probably check it out. <laughs> she she needs ten hit points. Here we go. One medical herb. Stay there. Robbie, attack that. <laughs> Robbie just going full on in on his own. Pretty good. Yeah, he's got good defense. I'm not worried about him. They're just not moving. They're just all stuck right there. I gotta take my slowest movers and go this way. Slow effect of rock wears off. Oh, God. Probably made his agility even lower. All right. There's a platform there. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, so that door slides open, that door slides open. <clears throat> Like, he has one treasure chest, two treasure chests. Whoever's on the platform... 
Opens all the doors, I'm betting. Yep. Campbell has to be the one on it because he moves first. I needed someone that moves before the the thief, and I don't know if that's possible. Uh, sending T Prince Toyker back this way to check to see if there's Mithril up there. I'm trying to see the most logical-ish type places where they might be hiding something. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. And a hill giant. Fuck. I love how he took it out with an arrow. <clears throat> Got an antidote herb. Shit. So you kind of need to leave a small force behind to deal with them, even though these guys can kind of sort of do it. I'm not worried about the Aspinian Knight. I'm worried about that hill giant. He finds the goddess tier, or receives the goddess tier. Shit. <clears throat> you have to get as close to here as possible. can't send Hedva back up after them. How about here? Nothing? No. Yep. Small Mithril. What will you drop for the small Mithril? Shit. The Ruin map. We don't need it. We already opened it, so... Oh, there's no way back up there. Oh, shit. I borked myself by, like, sitting there and trying... Ugh. Demark won't come down here with us, so he's gonna sit there with these guys. I could have made more moves, but I was like trying to move them back this way, and that was not the option. <coughs> Prince Tiger can get to them. This guy's gonna take out a royal guard. Hey! You, you couldn't be bothered? Okay. No, the soldier's gonna die. 
Oh, he has to go around. We need to let him get the second, um... <clears throat> Not a very good healer for much longer, I hate to say. She does uh, not have much in the way of. He's only missing six. <clears throat> Robbie's not gonna make it over there in time. There goes this guard. That leaves a sh no, it doesn't leave a straight shot. There's two guards blocking the entrance for... <clears throat> I'm kind of okay with those guards being there suddenly. Okay, so DeMarc's not a complete and utter idiot. Good. 14. That is fine. <clears throat> no, don't take the kill from me! <clears throat> God damn it. What the hell was that? Okay, hold on. I am most worried about Hazuki getting in there. A level one tornado won't kill the thief. There. That was good. The goddess tier. <clears throat> that's 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 pretty good. Mostly. Might as well for just for experience, whatever. Yep, do it. This might get Robbie killed. Hey, they're not moving. <clears throat> yeah, oh god, Robbie. Ow. Robbie has a total of 16 damage I think he's taking. That's not that bad. Para can heal him. She should do her job. Oh god, if he survives. My god. Oh god, that's so much. I guess it may be taking like 25 damage now. Uh, 
I like how basically our party is just all like, no, we're fine. Yeah, I know we were like against you and everything, but no, no, totally go on and try and take this treasure. <laughs> we're 100% behind you. really need more. That's why she's not going to kill him. She wears so little clothing. Yeah, she could have done a lot more, but I'm like, eh, I have enough people here that need experience, like poor Synthesis. Her experience is 49, or 24. Ugh. Just do it. Save your MP. We have a- we have the others. We have two tanks and the other commander. And I didn't even bother looking at him to see how strong he was. Hey, she's got an armor! And she's friends with Hedva. The two mages are now friends. Um... Shit. Why do you suck so much at getting spells of healing off? Learns bullet heal special attack. Heal as in H-E-E-L. Comes out of her foot. <laughs> Good job, Waltz. And you have an antidote herb. Okay. Uryudo has done like nothing this entire game. He still has more MP than anyone else. So he's just gonna heal this rando NPC. Because why not? Look at that. Ten whole experience points. Wow, he's making a dent in his level. I'm never worried about his, him and what he gets. The priest just took 26 damage, and Robbie just hit level 8. Attack is up by 2. Ah, shit. What are you gonna do? What? What? Oh, no. Why is Damaric going after that on his own? Get the fuck away from him. Damaric is like on a blood. He's like. Ugh. So, like, I, I need to not die. By the way, I'm gonna throw my face at the enemy. Are you fucking kidding me? Take the goddamn treasure chest! I need to make a line or something to keep DeMarc from, uh, going after him. Here, attack. Hit him. Just hit him. With your soul. Jeez. Oh, Hedva's just all like, yeah, fuck that, I'm level 10. <laughs> and she learned the soul blast special attack. She's not content with using her soul in that last way. She needs it to be even stronger than that. I don't think we can stop him, because since we're all part of the same army, he just... Doesn't he just go through us? For the large mithril, you're dropping the stupid antidote herb.
I knew there was going to be something here. Alright, Robbie, you're in the middle of this. Planet dance? I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> a high priest appeared, and a hill giant. Shit. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a little overkill, but sure, you go and use aura on a singular target. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Leave Robbie alone! Seventeen. Wait. That was it? I mean, everyone out. Dem no, Damara. No, Robbie! I mean, if that other hill giant moves, that's a problem. Oh, shit. Don't, no, don't, don't even. Stop it. I love how I'm waiting for this other thief to just steal the treasure. You dumb shit! I think we have to hide or something. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. She has 12 left. There's no target for Wendigo? Oh, it's, it's too far. What if... That's too far. Her only target is right here. partners with Robbie until he dies horribly. And then the game's all like, hey, Robbie no longer wants to be friends with any of you people. Just thought you wanted to know. You sure one healing drop on Robbie. Put him up at 35 for God's sakes. There, 28. He didn't even he didn't even do the full 30 that you could have done on it. <laughs> like fucking hell. Oh god, putting Sintesis right there. Why? Blaze level... I can't do level 2. Hold on. Drops its radius down. Am I ready to sacrifice Sintesis for this one hit? Yeah. She's, uh... She's great and all, but she's running out of her usefulness. <laughs> She did a bunch of damage and everything else. Now she's just there and a target. Jeez, Waltz. Uriodo's all like, don't worry, I'm coming to help. <laughs> like, oh, God. So if Robbie takes off, Good. Just get rid of the loader. He's partners with Waltz. Learn the armor shot special ability. <gasps> Look whose turn it is. Go, Rock. Go slam him in the head. <laughs> oh, God. Dios might not survive. <laughs> oh, he did barely. <laughs> oh, my God. Garrosh, are you going to deal the killing blow? Do it. We never went after the ninja. 
We didn't finish the ninja. What are we doing? Wait! Please wait, Amarok! What is it, Sayos? Why should I let you live? I am defeated. You could see that. Let's put the past aside. But the ninja. I don't know what the other treasure chest was, but honestly, the ninja not moving was starting to get irritating. You brought this battle on yourself. Your plan to take my life in this ambush failed, and now you plead for your life. We just wanted to return to Dystonia. This was the only way, but spare me, and I promise to quietly live out the rest of my days here in this cave. Just in this cave. This was your mistake, Sios. You planned to assassinate the Emperor. Not really an assassination when you're up front and in his face with a bunch of people. And now facing defeat, you can only beg for mercy. I mean, is it an assassination? Silence, Fidrit. This was our only chance to attack Demark. This was the only time Demark didn't have the Rainbloods acting as his bodyguards. That's true. Do you think we would have any chance of success if they were to join the battle? If you didn't want to battle the Rainbloods, perhaps you shouldn't have attacked at all. This was the first time Demark sent them on an assassination mission away from him, wasn't it? Wait, where are the Rainbloods? We wondered how long they would be away. We needed to feed Emperor Demark before their return. We had to kill him before they could kill us. They went after the Bullzome sect in that one temple, but that was a long time ago. They can't still be gone, right? Dispose of Sayos, Toiger. Toiger! I asked you to finish the enemy leader. Will you do as I've asked, Toiger? I have a feeling everything he's asking you to do is going to carry over into the third game. And the question is, are you the obedient son? Or do you recognize him for being a dickwad and just tell him no every single turn? No. Prince Toiger, do you intend to refuse the Emperor's order? That would be an unforgivable act. Don't allow him to escape, Toiger. If Toiger is going to act like a pacifist and refuse to attack, Campbell, the honor falls to you. Obey your emperor, Campbell. Since the prince hesitates, you will carry out the order instead. Oh no, he got away. Yasha, kill Sayos! <laughs> oh, yeah, he died. How did you know Yasha's there? How the fuck is Yasha anywhere, honestly? <laughs> Damara! <laughs> just explodes. I always find it funny that their death animation is just an explosion. Sorry to have bothered you, Yasha. That is all. Go. I wonder what kind of man you were, Toeger. Now I know. There will be many trials before our goal is reached. The actions I took here were required in order to recapture the Republic. I'm sure you would agree. With Sayo's gone, we will no longer face resistance in Swampland. The threats against the Emperor have been removed. Let's proceed to the castle, Toiger. Toiger! I just... I just... tapped him with my foot under the desk. Litters. Chuckle. They're coming after all, huh? Then I'll head to Swampland Castle ahead of you. The Emperor likely didn't care what became of Lord Sayos. He was merely testing us. Leading up to Aspia, this was to test the willingness of Toiger army to participate in this invasion. Emperor Demarak likely understands the Toiger army will refuse to attack. Despite that, is he only pretending to be calm? The Emperor talked up the Prince's actions for the sake of his continued assistance, but what has he actually done? Prince, so long as you're opposed to the invasion of the Republic, you need not succumb to the Emperor. <sighs> now we can pass through this cavern to Swampland. Then we will have to pass, get past the Eastern Mountains. Let's hurry, Prince Toiger. How did going through that town and doing this one battle take like an hour and a half?
Gemper was rescued, but Garvin and Arant escaped. The Toyger army pursued them, but they were intercepted by Lord Sios and Lord Daka. Prince Toyger was victorious, but resented Emperor Demarak's treatment of the defeated. Of the defeated. Remember, this is this is a translation project, so I'm not expecting perfection on the dialogue. Chapter 5. The capture of the Third Prince's army is at an end. Will you record your adventures so far? Yes. We're on the last chapter of this one. Sweet. I mean, overall, as much as I've laughed about certain aspects of the story, I have really enjoyed this one so far. The second one, second scenario is definitely better than the first scenario. Chapter 6, Emperor Damaric's Ambition. <laughs> what is her artwork and her background compared to anyone else we've dealt with? Emperor Damaric has emptied Swampland Castle. I can't imagine what cruelty has befallen my husband, Sios. This is war. If you aim your blade, you will have one aimed back at you. Lord Sios was well aware of this fact. Who is this terrifying man? Mother, did something happen to father? This man is your blood relative. He is Emperor Demark of the Dystodian Empire, and he is responsible for killing your father. Civil, is father really dead? Mother? Look at the faces of these children. Have you no compassion for the Emperor Demark? Your old relative, living in poverty. This does not look like an impoverished hall. You killed him without a second thought. I'll never forget it. Neither will these children. You mean to say that you'll hold this grudge forever? That's what they all say. Those whose husbands or fathers are killed. Isn't that so, Fidoret? Yes. They all died holding a grudge. <laughs> the Emperor condemns to death those he defeats in the struggle for power and their blood relatives in order to snuff out any spark of future conflict. If we leave behind dissidents, they would ne cause needless wars and bring misfortune to Dystonia. That is why Sios' relatives must be put to death. Do you object to this policy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is rules of war, so in general, probably. <laughs> you lack experience, Toyga. Once you have gained authority and rule over a country, you will come to understand this policy. Now go, wife and children of Sios. Until we are ready to depart, I'll allow you to enjoy the last moments of your lives. <gasps> please, Emperor Demark, take my life, but please pardon the children. So they can grow up and become little, like, angry people who are less little and more grown because they'll be grown at that time. And never mind. Lady Ilya, your pitiful pleas will not change the Emperor's decree. The Empire stands as the power it is, is today in part because we reject all such pleas. But to take the lives of innocent children, the lives of my dear Roma, Roma, Ro, Ro, Roma, Terra, and Jason. You're not human! So <sighs> Please stop, Prince Toyger. The Emperor's rule is absolute. If you go against him... Hold there, Campbell. That's not something that should be discussed as a member of the Imperial Army. Then the fate of Sios' wife and children is decided. Judgment has been passed, Prince Toyga. Your decision is sound, but the Prince's opposition to the execution of these nobles might become an obstacle to the plan from here on out. Are you suggesting I reconsider, Fidoret? If you carry out this execution over the Prince's objection, it would likely foster feelings of rebellion and cause the opposite of the desired effect. How do you feel about postponing the execution? The execution is postponed. Would that be an acceptable compromise, Prince Toyker? <laughs> It'd be rebellious and just be like, no! <laughs> uh, we're just gonna say yes. 
It is against my better judgment, but postponing the execution may be the best course. I'm wondering if he could somehow save them, and if it triggers something in the third game. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for your leniency, Emperor Damaric. There are rumors in Swampland that there was a call for help from the direction of Aspia. This is due to Orant. We can't stay here for long. To make preparations, Toyger, to traverse the marsh. We can go through the volcano. That will take us to Aspia. The volcano is where the dragon was, isn't it? The one I didn't kill, so I'm not going to deal with the mother dragon. Impose your authority or not, you will be responsible for it for the rest of your life, Toyger. Prolonging the lives of Sios' family weakens our influence and delays the annexation of Aspia. Oh my fucking god. To rule a vast country such as Estonia, one must wield absolute power. You must also instill fear of opposing that power. Understand cruelty is necessary. This whole thing... ...was put together partly by Prince Arant, who wanted to succeed to become emperor, but never would be because of his succession in the line. So he devised a plan to kill his own father to get rid of his oldest brother so that he could become the next emperor. And his plan sort of like backfired, hasn't worked. But the emperor is using it to basically foster war in order to reclaim the Republic, which managed to break away 20 years ago. I'm going through this whole thing because it helps me process, and it also helps anyone who has it, who's been having a problem paying attention. Judging from Ilya's stay of execution, Prince Toyger is not at all like his father, the pitiless emperor. He may be the only imperial with a heart. Did he move from me? Oh. Before Daddy went to the front, he said he would go to the Empire when he came back. I don't care about that. If Daddy comes home, we can all be together. I, I don't want to die. Daddy's dead. <laughs> he stopped the death sentence and saved our lives, right? But that person is your father. You're all Daddy's enemies. All right, the child can be killed on time. During the War of Independence, Sios joined the Republic Army and contributed to their victory. Even if this region believes the Empire is brilliant, I want my children to know what freedom is. I like how she had this thought, and her husband was all like, I just didn't like Emperor Damaric. Obvious reasons, so we can't exactly be against it, his thought process. But he joined the side of the Republic, all with the intention of being able to basically attack his own family, the Emperor, just because he hated him, and, I mean... I don't have problems with those two, and yet we murdered them. Tiger inspects the shelf and shut tight. But there was nothing we could have done. There was no saving them. That shelf's also shut tight. Is there anything here? Tiger searches directly ahead and finds the potion in their thing. Their, their planter. Lord Sias is not merely a noble, but a general as well. With him gone, Swampland won't be able to oppose the Emperor without a leader. The Empire. Em whatever. Same thing. Kroger inspects the bookcase. Swampland meeting minutes. Since the people have more capacity to pay taxes, starting next fiscal year, the tax rate will be increased 20%. I mean, they're kind of poor. What the hell? Hi, Sholan. You have a theory that Linus of Stardust, Stardew Valley is actually Linus from the Peanuts and, after, Peanuts, and after a lifetime of being bullied by his sister and Charlie's sister, he's hiding in Stardew Valley using his blanket as <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely not, but I love it. <laughs> and to play as Prince Toyger, unlike the Emperor, respects blood and tears. You can't know how grateful I am that you persuaded Emperor Demaric to delay the execution. So I think we might have taken the better option. Kroger inspects the shelf. It feels cool. Kroger inspects the bookcase. Swampland Army Recruitment. The requirements are being changed so that all males of fighting age fulfill at least two months a year as soldiers. 
God damn it. Ah. Uh, trying to get the planters, and I, I can't get them all. Now that I know, I should be, like, searching the planters. Oh, Ilya. It's hard for me to hold back the tears. It's surprising Emperor Demaric, the king of massacres, was moved to mercy by you, Prince Toyker. You must mean a lot to him. I'm sorry, you're a soldier of the Empire, and you call your own Emperor the King of Massacres? Holy shit. And then Castle, where the Lord was lost, must have had its garrison annihilated as well. There is no chance of resistance now. If Billy and the children are brought here, they may be able to escape Swampland. Please show pity, Prince Traeger. Their ha lives are in your hands. So you gotta get them here. Oh, you know why? Because they can put them on board these. If I had enough courage, I would have died with honor on the battlefield rather than become a prisoner of the Empire. But I'm just a coward. How the hell would you manage to get them over here? Shark inside the base. This door is an exit. Would you like to leave Swampland Castle? No. Yes, let's explore Swampland Castle a bit more. I wonder if there's a way to disguise them to get them to come over. The Imperial Aristocracy has been secretly cooperating with the Bullzum sect. Obviously their armies have been combined, but I believe they have some kind of ace up their sleeves. Things are going so well under Swampland's aristocracy, and now they're all going to be executed for making us all happy and prosperous? It doesn't make any sense. Tiger looks inside the barrel and finds the large mithril. There's just mithril everywhere. Oh god. I like how they sleep basically where they work. Your table is this box. <laughs> A holy onk. Wait, holy onk. Isn't that crummy? Like, we've had one of those for a while. And I think Uryuta was the one that used it. Equip. No. Aura level 2 and regen 4. He doesn't need aura level 2. He already has the aura spell. Who can he give this to? Yeah. I don't think anyone can use it. I think he's the only priest in my entire party. No, Synthesis can use it. Holy shit. That would turn Synthesis into a healer. It would get rid of her Phoenix level two though. Uh, I'm gonna have Oryudo just have it right now. He's not taking damage or anything, but it increases his attack for now. It's worthless on him compared to anyone else. Even if you have postponed the execution, it's sure to happen sooner or later. Romatera and Jason are just children. They're also Swampland's aristocracy. Isn't Damaric afraid of the marsh? By now he must realize there is an ambush waiting for him. He's either a very smart man or a very stupid one, but don't tell him I said that. If all our forces were focused here, we might have been able to keep the Empire out of Swampland for a while. We had to surrender unconditionally when Emperor Damaric invaded. For a guard, not much will change, even though Swampland has been taken over by Emperor Damaric.
The Lord's son Jason is my best friend. I don't know what to say to him right now. I hope you're sorry his father is dead. <laughs> God, these sudden angry children. Okay, headquarters, church, tavern, shops. I'm hoping shops means uh, uh, a blacksmith. Because this might be like the... I mean, th it, there could easily be a few towns, but I have a feeling we're going to have like slight open map at this point. Troiger finds the dark matter. Oh boy. Dark matter. Mmm. An alliance with Saraband would have made Swampland prosperous. I wonder why the Lord backed out of the agreement. Because it would have been with Oran to end the Bulzo monks. I'm starting to really hate the fact that we killed Sios. What is the Empire up to? They've surrounded Aspia but haven't invaded. What's more, they have spread a rumor claiming the Emperor was abducted. Eh. That's a that's a whole nother issue. Lord Sayos was a good man and a gentle person. He won the respect of the other lords and was beloved by the people. Romatera loved her father very much. She must be devastated that he was killed by the Empire. Demark will invade the Republic territories until they are all under Imperial rule. Most people here don't want to be an annex of the Empire again. If Aspia is occupied, Mallory will not interfere because Tristis' son, Algernon, has been taken hostage by Prince Arant. Yes. We are, we are aware of that. The marsh is very fertile. Our town utilized it for farming until the worms started to attack. Now no one wants to go outside. Oh boy, the worms. Toyger inspects the shelf. Hmm? For some reason, there are candles and a whip. Oh my god. kinky lady. Trigger inspects the bookcase. Swampland's history. The Republican territory of Swampland was established after the War of Independence. Sios of the Imperial Bloodline was designated its lord. And somehow, somehow he managed to keep his area, even though he said it's destitute, it's one of the more prosperous sections of the Republic. At least according to what the people are saying. Bullzo monks have been coming to the marsh and training giant worms to serve them. In fact, I've heard the creatures are attacking people on command. Hmm, giant worms. Yeah, I don't remember if the giant worms were a major problem or not in the first game. I don't remember. I remember them vaguely being relatively strong, but not that strong. Like, they're a pain, but dealable. What is going on? Why is my phone being all like, ah, yeah. Oh. Getting pictures. After the Birdmen returned from investigating Aspia, they told me they enjoyed delicious food in the tavern. Ugh. My phone. You should try it if you get the chance. Wait, are there more... Are there Birdmen here? Is the sign for the pub just propped up on a barrel? The Lord of Swampland was once royalty in the Empire. Life has not been easy since we became independent. I really don't care if we become part of the Empire again. You're like the only person that has said that. General Thathod, who caused a revolt within the Republic, held a grudge against the Bodhi army. He thought Stork was hiding riches from the rest of the Republic territories. Yeah, he had problems. Lord Thathod. Brathathod. <laughs> Brathathod is Lord Thathod's son. Bodhi is in Mallory. His army appears to be preparing to march on Aspia. Yeah, so they're at level or uh, chapter 6 as well. However, the rampart on the Mallory side is being blocked by the army of General Fafad's son, Braff. <laughs> so Braff hasn't been killed yet, but he's about to be. If Emperor Damaric plans to journey to Aspia, he'll never reach the capital safely. Then Swampland and the rest of the Republic will be liberated from Dystonia's tyranny. God. Last night around midnight, I looked out the window and saw something shaped like a giant mushroom floating to the southwest. 
But nobody else was awake to see it. I was near Aspia while responding to a distress signal and saw a huge soldier standing in the moat of Aspia Castle. That's the Titan. I was frightened at first, but I soon realized it wasn't attacking the castle. Uh, I'm wondering if they have control over it yet. I recently flew to Mallory on my way to Aspia. The locals informed me that Braff had betrayed the Republic. Aspia has been occupied by Prince Arant of the Empire. Swampland has been occupied by the Empire. Our army will be assimilated into the Imperial forces to be used as they see fit. How can anyone bear this without speaking out? I found a large mithril in the, in the planter. Why do I keep finding shit in the planters? I've already talked to you. It's great. What, what about this planter? Have I tried this one? No, hold on. No. Okay. It's okay. Had to try. Headquarters is that way. Church is that way. Tavern. Shops. So the shops are right there. No. What? This little bit of farmland that's just randomly here. So like, it's the community garden. There's nothing going on in there. All right, first things first. What do you desire? Uh, give. That. I, I should continue searching the, I should continue searching because if the shop has a blacksmith, we should just make use of them. Did I talk to this old man? What is the empire up to? They surrounded Aspia, but have, yeah, we have. Go inside. This old man has a dinner on the stove. Take a look at it. Nothing. Tiger inspects the shelf. Finds 500 gold coins. Have I finished my coffee? Not really. But now I have. Tiger inspects the shelf. It's shut tight. I have the Boji Army journey through the volcano very recently. They were attacked by a baby dragon, but they spared its life. Yep. So that the next... So we're about to go up to the volcano, and if we had killed the baby dragon, we would have had the mother dragon to contend with. Toyger inspects the bookcase. Lords of the region, the two lords, Sios and Daka, were expelled from the Empire after losing their positions in a power struggle. Both then contributed in gaining the Republic's independence. But he should have killed that dragon when he had the chance. Who knows what harm it'll bring when it grows up. Wow. Just wow. She's like, they should have just murdered it! <laughs> Bloodthirsty old lady. Trigger looks in the bucket and finds the Gaia axe? I'm sorry, what? Item. Give. I think there's only one person that will... Wait, what does it do? Special attack, aura level 1 if used, regens to HP. Oh god, his... Attack would drop so hard. You know who could use it? David. David. I think we're gonna put it in storage. On the off chance that I need to make use of the, the the parties like I did in the first game. That way we don't lose it. And we suddenly need David to do things. Ugh. I love this little corner of the unit. Nobility of Swampland seceded from the Empire 20 years ago. Despite the repercussions for the Empire, they were brave enough to stand up for their cause. That's nice. Tiger inspects the shelf. It feels cool. Tiger inspects the shelf, and it's shut tight. 
It's like, isn't there enough shit that I found in this town? No, I need more. Seems no matter who you are, if you oppose Emperor Damaric, you will lose. What will become of Swampland? I'm more interested in seeing if I can somehow get the... The, uh... The wife and the children out. Have I not been in here? I guess not. Is there anything in your planter, sir? Kroger inspects the shelf. It's shut tight. Wonder what my friend is still at the bar. It's his turn to feed the worms in the marsh. If you don't bring them food, they will come to town to search for food. Wait, what? Kroger inspects the bookcase. Harvest of the poor, southeast region of the Republic. By Pulsus. Swampland strives for a good harvest by taking measures against flood damage, while Headland does the same with its actions against drought. Okay. I would have I would have found it funny if they put something else inside the planter there. Like, you're just constantly finding crap in the planters. Personally, I keep trying to look behind every single building. Why is this two stories? There better be stairs. There are. Holy shit. Traeger inspects the bookcase. Valuable mithril equipment. If you should find some mithril, a magical silver material, you can ask a blacksmith to make you some very strong and valuable equipment. Emperor Demaric and the soldiers of his army said the battles from here on out will be more intense, and everyone bought new weapons. Wow, you must be making whole tons of money now. Our selection is unique and crafted by first-class artisans. Take your time. The master works all. You can't go wrong. <laughs> A mystery onk. Resist level two. Mm. If we hadn't found the Holy Ankh, it would have been good. One for sleep level one. Deals? He didn't have anything, right? Oh, I looked at his deals. Bye. One can never have too many weapons. Great sword. Raises zero to fifty-four. Battle mace. Love, Cestus. Shuriken, which is I, I've gotten almost everyone mithril equipment for a while now. Battle wing yeah, it's all crap. Go upstairs. God. Have something in your potter. In your in your plant. God damn it. What is this this shelf that goes off beyond the door? It feels cool. She just lives and breathes in this tiny ass little area, and then she stands behind a counter the rest of the day. She has no life. Quaker inspects the box and finds another large mithril. Holy shit. If you need supplies for a long journey, you've come to the right place. Deedles. If you're looking for something special, take a look as you like. I dropped that. <laughs> oh. You know what we can do? Sell. Get rid of that stupid black matter I found. I don't want it. I, there's a like I've said it before, but there's apparently a whole thing about black matter is like large mithril, except it only makes cursed items. There's apparently some um, strategies behind using certain cursed items on the party members because they're incredibly powerful. Um, but I have no desire to do them because so, it, it depends on the cursed item and what it does. Not not all the curses are the same. Some of them will deal damage to you if you end up dealing damage or they randomly deal damage or something like that. 
Did I talk to you after the bird mit? Yeah, I did. Um, other ones will just straight up prevent your character from attacking, which are some of the worst ones. Like, you just don't want that. Traeger inspects the box and finds a lucky cookie. Who wants luck? I mean, if I give it to Rock... Fuck it. Use it on Rock. Because it increases the chance for things happening. So now he's got a luck of six instead of four. I've talked to you. Now that Swampland is occupied, the people are bound to panic. But the Emperor will just strike us down if we resist. It would be safer to just accept the situation and settle down. Our priest has strong nerves and it isn't easily perturbed, but he's so racked with worry about the political unrest of the Republic that he's unable to sleep. There are civil wars and imperial invasions throughout the Republic. I'm afraid this new government and our new way of life have come to an early demise. Recently I woke up in the middle of the night. Out the window I saw a strange flying object in the sky. A mushroom silhouette looked like the Walkeré of legend. Isn't that... Is that what Gracia is going after, or was that Gracia? I think that's. I think Gracia was going after the Walkeré with Fubo. My lost lamb, I'm glad you have come. What can I help you with? Uh, revive. Everyone's healthy. Oh, no one did die, huh? Can anyone get promoted? <laughs> no. <laughs> Save. Like to make a record? Yes. Overwrite. Yes. Adventure has been saved. You can resume at any time. Will you continue now? No. Because we're about that time. 